Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I watched a video called Violent Emergency Fire Starter Mothball in a Cotton Ball. Simple, easy, works great. The video was uploaded by Stephen Harris from Knowledge Publications where he shows how you can make a fire starter using mothballs and cotton. Um, those of you that have watched my videos for a while may know that Steve Stephen Harris is the guy that started me in making YouTube videos. My very first video was uh, Let's Make Some Wood Gas, where I was duplicating something that he did, uh, used making wood gas with a soda can and some chips and stuff, wood chips. So I kind of blame him on my, my long time on the YouTube. But anyway, on his video, he kind of jumped around with uh, what he was doing and he used anyway he took a mothball put it in some cotton in my case I don't like to use cotton for a fire starter I like using these pads because I like doing things where you can use it for multiple things and these I can use for first aid and all kinds of stuff by having it like this rather than a piece of cotton and he just put it on there like that and started it up so I got myself some mothballs. In his video, he stuffed the cotton and the mothballs in a M&M container, a little tube. I think a good way to carry these would be in something like these unexploded soda bottles. This would be nice and watertight, airtight. You wouldn't have any problems with the fumes from the mothballs getting into your stuff. A little heavy, but uh, it's another way to do it. I like to keep things separate. I don't know, did I say in his video he kind of jumped around and he also used what looked like WD-40 spray on this to get it going. I'm going to try duplicating his video but I'll leave the camera on it from start to finish so that we can see what all happens and I'll put a timer on it. This mothball <clears throat> weighs about 3.6 grams or 0 .13, 0 .13 ounces, yeah, that's what I measured. So let me set this up outside. I'll try starting it with my blast match, and we'll see what happens. Okay, I just did the test. We're back. Boy, am I glad I did that outside. This is what the test looked like outside. It ran for a little less than three minutes. You'll see by the timer on there, I'll speed it up. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, we'll both watch it here together. And like I said, I'll speed it up a little bit. what it looked like. Again, like I said, I'm glad I did it outside. Really, really sooty. Stringy sooty. Here's a, a little bit, here's another view of it from back a little bit so you could see it all. You can see the black smoke just rising up. This is at pretty near the end of the test and it's and stink. Jeez. So I guess it works. I wouldn't use this except under a real desperate situation. Don't even think of trying to heat water with the thing because it look at the mess that it left in this pan that I used. Originally the pan kind of looked like this. And I just left laid the cotton pad on there, put the mothball on there and then lit it up with the blast match and this is what was left. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that cleaned out or not and you can see it's leaving soot on the hands. So I guess as an emergency type thing I do it but uh, for normal camping forget it. If, you have, if you're out camping with buddies and you do something like this now I gotta give him credit what he was talking about was putting this kind of a thing something you know these mothballs 
in a bug out bag. So we're talking for a bad situation you might use these. These things are made of Napoline. That's the major ingredient. And again, I meant to say, if you look for these mothballs, make sure that the, ac the active ingredient is naphthalene, because that's what burns. I think there's a different kind of mothballs out there that don't have this stuff in it, and it probably doesn't burn. But naphtha is like just solid gas. So, I'll leave a link to his video. You should really check out his stuff. A lot of good stuff on working with wood gas, hydrogen, uh, solar panels. I got a couple of his books on solar stuff. Great stuff. I don't mean to make it sound like I'm really pushing for this guy, but I mean, I like his stuff. This, I'm not so sure about. So anyway, I'll leave links down below to his video. I'll leave a link down below to my first video on wood gas that I got from him. And, you know, I suggest you watch him. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my Buddy Max. Bye now.